Bait stations consisting of ripe bananas are set out to lure butterflies of the genus Agrius. These South American butterflies are extremely diverse in coloration, even within a species. This sequence shows the amazingly broad variation in wing pattern and coloration in these dynamic species. Some insects mimic even the most delicate textures of leaves. The elaborate technique of camouflage is truly astounding and remains to this day one of the great natural defenses. Responding to nuances of their environment, these tiny insects have survived the ages while entire families of vertebrates became extinct. Cleverly hidden in the branches of this tree is the pupa of a swallowtail. It is camouflaged green to blend in with the foliage. Here, the pupa of the same species is brown. To protect themselves from their chief predator, the bird, swallowtail pupae adjust their color to match their surroundings. What actually determines the color of the swallowtail pupae? Dr. Kehichi Honda of the University of Hiroshima, Japan, speculates that the answer lies in the texture of the branches. He prepares two wires. One is green, but rough. The other, brown, but smooth. These conditions reverse the natural order. How will the larvae adjust? The insects can barely see. Instead, they feel the surface of the wire as they inch along. Within a few days, the pupa on the rough wire turns brown. The one on the smooth wire is sheathed in green. Relying on touch instead of vision, the larvae adjust their color. Insects can't see the detailed features of different parts of a tree. Their behavior is based on very limited sources of information. Across the globe, in Okinawa, Japan, ecologist Kenji Uesugi believes that there are many important reasons for diversification. Mr. Uesugi has been studying a type of butterfly called Menelides polites. It's a kind of swallowtail butterfly with a white striped pattern on its wings. Some of the females of this swallowtail species have slightly different wing patterns. Red spots accentuate the white band. This distinctive design is the result of generations of change in the gene pool. The red spotted butterflies here are in the minority. Because the males prefer the white-striped females, the reds have fewer opportunities to breed. These butterflies have predators, birds like the bulbul. 
In perpetual threat of attack, some of the eye-catching white butterflies show battle scars, chunks missing from their wings. But for some reason, the birds never select the red ones. Will the same thing happen under laboratory conditions? Red and white butterflies are placed in front of a bird simultaneously. Avoiding the red, the bird again selects the white. The results are repeated again and again. In each case, the red butterfly is left unharmed. In Okinawa lives another kind of swallowtail, a poisonous butterfly called Benimonaga. The butterfly on the left closely resembles the red-spotted Menelides polites. It is likely that birds shun the red butterfly, mistaking it for the poisonous Benimonaga. Showing off its individual design, the red-spotted butterfly has greatly reduced its risk of predatory attack. <laughs> 